שלום, שלום, שלום. Welcome to Bible Learners Corner. We thank you for joining us in the ongoing discussion, the Lord's Model Prayer. In the Model Prayer, the Lord's Model Prayer, there are several messages that are embedded that someone needs to go through other scriptures to see what is hidden within the Lord's model prayer. Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13. We are going to talk through several parts. The kingdom of God in heaven. That was to come. God's will that was to be done on earth as in heaven and the bread that we are supposed to eat daily and the forgiveness that through repentance we need to receive forgiveness of our sins and the Lord cannot tempt his children, but has delivered his children from the evil one through what Jesus Christ has already done by being lifted up on the tree as Moses lifted up the serpent on the tree and also Jesus talking about the kingdom, God's kingdom and the power and the glory that is forever. And we'll see within the model prayer all these things how are they being fulfilled? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts, forgive us our sins. Forgive us our trespasses as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever and ever. Amen. We'll do this in several parts, featuring all that the Lord Jesus Christ mentioned in the model prayer. God being our Father in heaven, Jesus talking to the multitude. He talked of our Father in heaven. We are going to start talking about our Father in heaven. God is our Father in heaven. We are his children on earth. 
Therefore, when talking about our Father in heaven, it means that we are his children on earth. God the Father is in heaven. We, his children, are here on earth. That's why when we read through several scriptures, we'll see that God created man to have a relationship. He is the creator. We are his creation. Therefore, the relationship between the creator and the creation is father and child. Being God's creation, we are his children. We need to have that relationship, father-child relationship. God is the father of all spirits. He created mankind in his image and likeness. Man received God's breath. When God breathed into the nostrils of the first creation, the first mankind, Adam, man became a living being. Man became a living soul. Therefore, God breathed his spirits into the body of mankind, and mankind became a living soul. Man created the image of God and his likeness to have relationship with God, to have communion with God, to have fellowship with God. That's why we see when man fell short of the glory of God following the first Adam's disobedience and falling into sin, all humanity becoming condemned. God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for the sinful mankind to be redeemed, to be saved. Therefore, God our Father in heaven loves his children on earth and he commands all his children to love one another as he loves us. That's why Jesus gave the two commandments of love, loving God and loving fellow mankind. So God's love, which is eternal, everlasting, enduring. God has love for his children and his children need to have that relationship with their father. God our father is in heaven we, the children, are here on earth. God has given us his commands, his words, his laws. And a child, if they obey their father, their parents, they have that blessing that their father has for his children. If 
you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him we read this the book of matthew chapter 7 verses 11 and 12 therefore a child needs to obey their father a child needs to obey their father's law a child needs to listen to hear their father's voice when he's speaking to them and do what their father commands them what their father requires them to do and god our father in heaven who loves his children who are here on earth commands us all to hear his voice and to do what he wants us to do the first mankind the first adam did not listen to god's command and he disobeyed god's instruction not to eat fruit from the forbidden tree of the knowledge of good and evil and as jesus said he came to fulfill the father's will this world is full of evil the world that we are living in because of the first adam's disobedience to god's command the world became condemned and in evil full of evil because of satan who is the ruler of the kingdom of this world the kingdom that was stolen from mankind the kingdom that had been given to mankind but because of the tempter satan who came and deceived the woman who listened to the serpent and she wanted to become wise she ate the fruits and gave the fruit to her husband adam who also ate the fruit disobeying god's command therefore humanity became condemned the world is full of evil mankind having been deceived all humanity that's born of woman is condemned unless someone is born again our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us lead us not to temptation but deliver us from the evil one and for jesus coming he was to fulfill all those things that are within the model prayer yes we thank you for joining us we'll be back shortly to continue talking about the model prayer stay blessed and shalom